free ticket to the finals so that you can laugh at the BO3 eliminations, single eliminations, when that showdown rolls around. So here we go, folks. G2, Vitality, leaving it all out there. We got some Midnight Counter-Strike queued up, and Spinks manages to escape into the connector. JKS and Hunter with the first two kills, Vitality 3v5. Oof, that's a quick one. All right. Top Con Smoke still fresh as well off these kills with window control. Vitality, they must feel like they lost, but will they make that a reality? Will G2 make that a reality? We're about to find out. First kill actually goes back way to the CTs. Sphinx needs the reload. Zyru getting dirty with those Berettas again, but Monacy from across the map popping heads with the Glock G2 with a T-side pistol. And this is the map where every round just feels like the most important thing because like they don't have to think about map two, map three. They're just one step closer to finalizing, you know, the situation. And it's, again, it's a revenge best of three for G2. It's Vitality proving something with another best of three win here. Let's fucking go! And they also didn't play Mirage the last time. I think we ended on Inferno last time. Yes. So some new territory, Indeed. and a clean one from Sphinx. Just like Dust2 was, you know? And the only map that was the repeat, huge improvement from G2. Considering they got their opponent's map close, map pick that close, I almost want to say, you know, G2, the formula's here tonight. We've got two good maps back-to-back -back from Hooksy. If anything, it was kind of Nico that went a little quiet on Dust2. Yeah, I think, I think Hooksy... Hooks you up, fragged him. Like, if we had, you know, Nico's usually good for, like, one or two of those spectacular moments, even if he's not putting up, let's say, plus 20 to 25 frags. And and last map, it just yeah. wasn't quite there. It wasn't there. It was really Monacy. That was the star player, for sure, in a big way. But again, better late than never. So as map three starts, we'll keep eyes on him. Hooksy's dead pretty quick this time, top middle. They're going to try to challenge into the B site. That's Zywu out. Pistol's close. Dupree. Ooh, lots of damage. But Nico comes out from the apartments, alleviates some pressure. Sphinx connects to what's left of JKS. Oh, such a great flash. That actually allows them to cross, but I think they don't trust it necessarily and are aware and afraid of Sphinx and his power. Monacy's an easy pushover. 29 health. There it is. Sphinx getting both of the players that were low. Three kills with this Desert Eagle. And we know what he can do. We've felt it already tonight. Nico, Manning question. With a clutch attempt queued up. 14 seconds. Fake plant. Nade comes out. Huge chunk of health taken down. Uh -oh. Smoke at his feet. Little bit of desperation. They start to sprint out. He comes off the plant. Still 62 HP and Magisk just catching him. It's Vitality right back. Yeah, understanding just how far he can go. And Magisk just starts spamming. Really well done from him. And in particular, Spinx and... You know, talking a lot about G2 because they are major changes, but uh, Spinks has been really, I think the most amazing thing is watching him just adapt to new, a new team so quickly and also new spots where, again, here he's playing Connector where he was used to playing Cat. Uh, and oh my God, it was like that. Wow. That was beastly. Yeah. I'm down. Let's make it happen. So a round lost, but it was not an easy one. Frustrating reality to lose momentum early T side. Indeed. AK in for Hunter. Of course, going to reinvest with everything they can. Monacy's got one as well. More consistent elements of G2 this evening. Well equipped. Not nearly as armed as Vitality. A couple free AKs within their equation. One of them here in the hands of Magisk. Mac 10 inside connector. Hunter gets okay. timing. That's Walks right out, just barrel stuffs the first. Zywu, good control of the M4. Sphinx is in a good position. Hooksy gets past the smoke, it fades. And Nico wow. just deletes him with the Deagle. Then it's Apex off the ticket, and Monacy's gonna get another. So G2 back and forth. Damn. And they rob it right back. Yeah, they brought so much ferocity to that. I can't believe Hunter just came flying through that palace. I feel like you make a play like that and you die. You're just, it's just Tilt City. But he was exactly correct about that timing. Maybe there was some bait inside of Connector to shake up the player on top of Palace that allowed him to do that. And then the coverage from Nico jumping stairs as Hooky lurks out to the right side. 
It was like they were all working on their own ideas and somehow made it look cohesive. Jeez, you steal it right back. Sorry. I want to see that kill from Hunter, whether there was any kind of a cue. Yeah. Any time of a step, a timing, something. Or if he just took the blind gamble and walked out. Yep. But literally just walked, yeah. <laughs> That's so cheesy. And then this one as well. You know, Sphinx with the smoke fading and like that feeling that someone's on the other end. Yeah, but you could see from Hunter Magisk, shuttle, shuttle, shuttle. his perspective, he's looking at stairs. So there was some kind of potential threat or prevalent threat there, ready to peek or something. So, yeah, maybe some method to the chaos. Back and forth we go. Yes, we do. Leaves Vitality in a halfway decent spot. Two M4s, Fomus. No contest for middle, though. Got 3B early. Bomb left top mid. Feels like with the importance of this map, every single round is going to be milked for every second. Mm -hmm. yeah, this is the one where you're counting the extra deaths, the clutches that come through. Crunch time. And there are two more Danes here on Vitality looking to get into the Royal Arena as well. Can't forget about them. Don't forget about Hooksy. Yeah, that's true. Ah, he's new. <laughs> Not quite yet legendary status. But if you can turn around from the poor performances He'll he take started anything. this event with. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> JKS gets Magisk this time. Magisk tries something cheeky with the smoke and... You know, it had been so silent for so long. Opt to make a play. Costs them. Bomb, not yet committed to either direction. Monacy just kind of scouting out Catwalk Whoa. alongside Hooksy. Remember, it's a V-stack from the CTs. Oh, they just saw the rotation over. So, get the hell out. <laughs> okay. I guess we're doing a little scouting here. <laughs> Never seen someone run faster than that. Bomb has been planted. He's got bloodlust. Now that he knows what it feels like to get kills, right. he just wants more. Yeah, he was uh, surprised. Like, uh, yeah, again, surprisingly good on Dust2. Absolutely no expectations there, I think, for himself. I feel like there's not even a lot of pressure, considering he's just not, never even called on the map or anything. Did really damn well. This one quiets down a bit. Let's look for some exits. Oh, wow. Zaiwu versus Nico. Two good players. He's not going to get away at all. Neither player bringing anybody else with them. So three alive here for G2. They win the Force Wars. Now they've got a little bit of runway here early on. That was the key rotate from Apex, leaving his post in CT with that scout on his back. Loud for the info to come the way of G2 to make an informed decision. Honestly, we've got thrown the op here. Maybe a, a second early. They have Hooksy on the MAC-10. See how well they suss out the information. Ooh. That's why they call it triple box. That's the face it stack right there. This is the simple killer. Just a few dudes hanging out. On a Sunday night. They're making a V. No coincidence. I think it's a heart. Oh, okay. Heartality. Sphinx. Strong shoulders. I believe it. He, he's been carrying. Every once in a while, I just take a second to appreciate how ridiculous it is that we can boost each other on our heads in, in, in CSGO. I think it's more ridiculous that if you put the third guy, they just slide off. <laughs> Like, that's the limit. I know, know, right? Like, no, we, we draw the line at three. You can balance on one leg, but... But don't that. get ridiculous. Yeah. Again, another example of, like, how every round is going to be taken down to the limits. <laughs> What's that? They just traded places. Literally nothing but pistols, and it's still at the 40-second mark. G2 want to do no wrong. Make no error. Hold all guns. Bomb has been planted. With the plant on the B site, they lock this one in. 
Look at this. I mean, they've, yeah, they've got the attack on both sides comfortably. They have all the info locked up. Four quick here for G2. Yeah, time to sit up for the rifle round. This is the fun round. Vitality to try to stop momentum. What were they doing in there? He made noise on the ladder, and then Zaiwu just went up. Lapse in judgment, but hey. No harm, no foul. Was just pistols. Get it out of the way. Get us into the guns. Zaiwu's got an op. Now the fireworks begin. Him versus Monacy. We got a... I feel like we didn't get too much of like a op versus op fight going down on Dust 2. Both snipers with their impact. Monacy that much more though. Looking for quick connector presence. Not going to be showing anything. And just off the utility alone, they've got the eyes off of mid from Vitality. But it looks like G2 did this. They put an immense amount of pressure on mid just to see if anyone would push anything. So they've covered all options on the extremities, which is not what you see. Usually one thing is open. Palace or A ramp, the B walk up or underpass, but there is no response. And the thing that also becomes open on the T side is mid itself. Whoa, what's happening here? Looks he's just kind of feigning a little presence. Now the B fights go well, but Magisk, they didn't expect the third piece and he falls back into the site. It's only Nico now. Hunter is on the opposite side of the map. It's a couple Danes versus Nico. Apex chasing Hunter. Nico trying to seize a chance, and there it is. Taps into Magisk. He's given himself a little bit of leeway. Falls back into the underpass, or palace, and waits for Dupree to come over from Ticket. That's one more piece confirmed. Apex soon to arrive. Oh! Nico, these taps are nasty! And with Apex coming in from stairs, the likelihood is low. Nico, there he is. Jesus. Welcome to the game. Yeah, seriously. Welcome in, man. Shooting bullets like they cost a grand each. That was nasty. I feel like Monacy didn't come the A ramp push or something. So it came flying off the balcony. Maybe they thought Magisk would go hiding. Uh, he really dug him out of a tight spot. Right? Apex 0 and 5. Oh, yeah, he's asleep. Back Dupree, really. 0 and 5. Yeah. Oh, wait, no. No. I'm, that, that's the kill logo. Oh, wake up, Scrawny. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Those taps, dirt nasty. And again, remember, what, what cost Vitality the last time they, sh they, they faced off was that 28-kill nuke performance from Nico. Vitality could do nothing. Couldn't keep up. Couldn't buy a round win. Yeah, it was impossible. I think they would have beat any team in the world with that level of play they were bringing. And while I'm sitting here watching Hunter improve and Hooksy improve, I'm just kind of twiddling, you know, twiddling my fingers, expecting the Nico show. We're getting it. It's six rounds deep on Mirage. It could still disappear as it had. But with this one M4, Apex hoping to hang on to this B site. At least he's on the right side of the map, but he is just, oh my God, flushing them down the drain. <laughs> what is happening? This damage is immense. Hooksy and Monacy incredibly low. And Nico's still alive. Yeah, he found a way to get all the utility out, got some damage in, and uh, they don't know exactly how low Hooksy and Monacy are right now. Yeah, jeez. Apex heard him talking shit. Yeah, he did. Offers up a couple clean kills. Of course, they were never destined to win this one, but a quick little reminder of what could happen if Apex starts to offer us something to talk about yeah. still. And that was the one rifle that they had? Yes, sir. Yeah. 6-1. Six, 6-1 one. Six, one T-side early. Seriously, that's... That is wild. Bomb's gonna kill a couple here. If Dupree doesn't get them first. There he Ooh. goes. Ooh. Oh, he can't get the gun back, but at least Magic finds one. You know, there was that weird moment where G2, I mean, it's, you know, it's always a meme with them and, and Mirage and finals and stuff like that, but with the Stockholm Major, and Nico missed that shot in heaven, you know, infamously. But they had Mirage on the horizon. And there were a lot of people that felt like if it went to Mirage, that mm -hmm. G2 w could have won, maybe would have won. That's how high up this map was. All, all that's to say, this is how high up that map was for G2 at one point. The map that we all deserved. Yeah. But we'll all never know. This is the map that Monacy spent all 16,000 hours or how many he has on. <laughs> Bomb 
tucked away by spawn as they go for the run boost in mid. Nobody here to punish that. Really hasn't been any aggressive mid plays from Vitality. Yeah. I think that's in a very salient point. Mid is becoming more and more of a CT thing where before you just paint, sprinkle in and everyone's... Oh, no! Timing. Sphinx pulls out a nade. Horrendous timing. Oh, man. Maybe Magisk recovers. He gets away from Hunter, at least for a moment. Bits of damage in. Oh, Nico comes wide, though. You shoot at one Kovac, you get the other. And now Apex is going to be burned out of trying to press into the jungle, so Zaiwu towards Ticket. It's essentially him versus four. Yeah, they aren't maintaining here, and Apex actually finds a route in. Dupree down, JKS spots Apex. He gets the headshot versus Nico. But the bomb's planted, and the spam comes in from the Aussie. Zaiwu, all that's left. Misses his first chance, takes a ton of damage in return, and they're not going to let off the pressure. He's got nowhere to run to. He is down, and G2 up, round after round. Wow, they took that one gift of Spinks inside of the window, took that kill, and just completely ran over the A site. I mean, just tried his best to try and stop this here, but uh, the trades from Nico, he wasn't done with that, just that single kill. And from there, it's easy. I mean, you got window control, it's, it's easy when you're attacking the A site. It's very hard for the CTs to get back into that. Such important high frag locations, key members dead that fast. Not surprised you two don't lose that position. And now, 7 to 1, Majisk on the M4 alone. Sphinx is seen, so Hooksy's ready. Yeah. They're not really bringing any gimmicks to this one. Dupree's just got a hard line off cat. Uh, Ooh. Excuse you? It's one of those spots where he gets info, it's not that much. It actually makes the situation a little bit more tricky. Now they've also got to babysit a gun. And still try to figure out where Magisk has his. Yep. So there's a couple landmines here in play to Vitality's favor. This would be first step to the puzzle. They have Monacy on mid to cover for Hunter if he wants to try to work out of this. And JKS is on, you know, gun duty in this position. Let's see if Vitality can maybe score it back. Like, they could, they could probably press E on it without being shown. They just don't know how... The T's are looking at it right now. Right now they're funneling into ca uh, into connector. That's where this M4 lies. See if anyone can perform a bait here for Magisk. Oh, oh. Goes in dry. They've lost their gun. Zaiwu's looking for the ramp play. JKS in the corner. Takes a bit of damage from the Deagle. It's got to be Sphinx now. And he just gets shredded by Nico as he goes up the stairs. Apex wastes no time to pre-catching one from Cat. There's pressure here, an odd amount of pressure, especially with the time. All oh, that flash actually does wonders to help them cross. Five seconds to spare. AK's been picked up by Dupree. He gets the headshot to JKS. Nico into the clutch. CT's in the open. Guns in their hands. Taps yet again. He sees both bodies, kills neither for now, and they make sure he can't deliver another impactful round. Wow, Apex saved it. I mean, both of them actually did such a good job there. Dupree with his two frags. Apex coming out of window room. You know, just desperately, as soon as Sphinx goes down, takes his place, gets that smoke off. I don't even know who throws a second flash. It might have been Dupree. But there was some good utility back and forth. Ooh. Well, that's a clean one. Apex, same play. Oh, that's well done. Oh, the amount of energy in the room. It's so cool hearing it from everyone's perspective. Kind of gets injected back in because I mean it felt like a super deflated vitality even when they won dust two. Yeah. Silence. Yeah, that's true. Like a like a weight was lifted off their shoulders, but they had nothing to celebrate. Oh yeah, job not finished, right? And here, here they have a chance, but they've got to play catch up now. Oof, Nico sharp into Sphinx. Dupree's got the quick trade. Monesty's got the angle towards B. And bombs floating. They've got feelers on the perimeter of each side of the map. Yeah. Find out if that was a worthwhile trade. I think in theory, most maps start off a little bit more CT-sided, 5v5. In general, most maps are already, even at their best balance, a little bit CT-sided. But as soon as it goes down to 4v4, even some of the harder maps in history uh, become T-sided. Or start to lean back. Go 
Bugsy gets clipped. JKS up next. Magisk preoccupied with holding smokes. A little bit of pressure to Zywu, and maybe JKS gets out. Hell, even that smoke could be a bit of an invitation. Opens up Zywu to try and deal with JKS's teammates. Magisk adding himself to the ticket setup. Hunter's cutting through jungle, 30 seconds. Monacy will have to cross from Tetris. Bomb on his back. He gets sprayed down from Magisk, sliding into the site just as he's needed, and then turning it on to Hunter. Still plenty of bullets in the magazine. JKS, all that remains. He's going to have a very tough job of getting out, so he might just want to fall back. He is surrounded, but he fires off into Apex. Still enough time to make magic happen. Eight seconds to the clock, and the flank comes through on Dupree. Vitality, it's not a one-off, but a couple of rounds in a row. That was a great re-aggression. I mean, from Majesk here. Coming out from triple, he had the off escort. I think the A site was way too quiet in this position, and uh, Zaiwu threw a smoke that can be great if the exec comes in and there's no CT smoke, that you can peek off both sides. And Majesk says, okay. First bullet out of Dupree. Good for the kill. Trade immediate. Dude, Sphinx is getting pieced up right now. Yeah, shredded. Four and ten. And while we've had little pieces of, you know, hit and miss from Vitality, it's kind of been Sphinx most consistent. He's getting cancelled out at the moment. How quickly they were to clash in middle and then both teams disappear. Yeah. Yeah, they have kind of both signed up for these explosive openings, haven't they? From top mid and connector almost every single round. Looks like right side smokes are going to come up, but um, they're not in a position to commit there. They're taking it back, and this can allow for the walk up on Cat. And, ooh, Zywoo, he's deep! Inside of B apps, they were hoping for this fake. Now it feels like they've got to turn back to A. Apex on fire, Magis behind him. Three. Oh, he was looking for something what? in mid. Modesty lost some health, but at least he got that one. Zaiwu, let's see if he scrambles. They're going to smoke jungle. Oh no, Magis is dead as well. From CT? The fire doesn't spread to Apex. He still has a pocket. Hunter comes wide. Bomb dropped. 20 seconds. Zywu is sprinting over to try and save his IGL. The bomb has been set up blaze. Zywu is scouring outwards, trying to find contact. Five seconds to spare. Nico goes high, hits the headshot. Zywu's into the play, sees the shadow, misses his shot. Monacy goes for the bomb. Nico's got the damage, but Zywu's got the shot. Oh. And that occupies him long enough for Monacy to clutch. Yeah, he came in there, man. Monacy at every single turn in this round, picked up a frag over and over again. All hard ones as well, man. Mid-round timing from Dupree inside of the window. Ready for that. Majisk from the ticket. All of a sudden, ready for that. Big Monacy moment. And then the final clutch as well. As this got so awkward. Molly on the bomb with it that far away. And the unknown second CT. It seemed like everything fell into place right there for Vitality. That's eight to the T side. Gun's still up for Vitality. And sometimes you laugh because you know how close you were to losing. Yeah, it's that nervousness, yeah. right? I'll take it. 8-3. So I will caught them off with that D-Bank. Oh! Okay, that's... But doesn't expect Apex to be Apex back on bench. doing there? <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. Was he, was, maybe he was setting up for a flash. I don't know. Was, he didn't start fence, right? I'm not oh, sure. Man, you could never expect that. I kind of lost track of him, to be honest. That's, that's hilarious. It's like he was planning for Zywu to die, which is the funniest concept to think about. Maybe he really is a genius. Don't worry, I've got this. Hooks, he'll be tagged deep inside the apps. G2 looking for another avenue, a different route. It's like every, every round, 4v4. Let's kick Freeze. it off. Yeah. That does make, I like mid, mid rounds are way better than 5v5s anyway. This is where you get creative. And they've given up so much mid control so consistently. Yeah. 
and it has cost them. Oh, JD, as he comes out, A hauls. It's been a little while since they threw that. And he's still aware of an A ramp player, and he gets a dink off. Apex, big moment. Turns it to the MAC-10, oh, catches this. Hunter. That's confirmed, and he saw the guy on Cat. Apex can't deliver another kill. Maybe Sphinx sure can. Finally, he's not dead in the first 15. Slides out, sees them both, but can't commit. No time. <gasps> Monacy simply doesn't have the clock. Oh, it didn't go down. Oh, it wasn't covered. And Spinks, with the only option, finds it, gets the kill. Oh, that's why you keep him alive. <laughs> Man, high stakes CS. Yeah. Well, this is ridiculous. Oh, that, 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 that peak is just crazy. Nice trade there, but... Yeah, I think I thought he was... I thought the bomb had been planted, too. I think part of him... Did as well, it doesn't matter, obviously. There was nothing he could have done. Possible recovery. Here wow. we go. Look how poor everybody is. Vitality need these rounds. Spinks locked into the right side of window. Heavier lean into the palace. Dupree wastes no time in getting that deep oh control. Monacy catches God. Magisk. He was trying to... No, that smoke comes off his corpse. He just pops. There's no one to delay for Sphinx here. Once the smoke comes up, of course, he has a timing. He can't do much. Even if he goes jungle, there's nothing he can do, but... Oh, he can stop the bomb. He can stop the bomb. He just did. He cut it off. And then Zywu turns around with two. They just shred G2. They had a little opening, so it seemed all the kills for Vitality. Oh, that's massive. Okay. So, yeah, typically what happens is that smoke down inside of the window... You know, if you've got someone to tether off of that can make a distraction, that's when you find that kill coming through. And here, it's just spaced incorrectly, right? The bomb is taking too long based on how long that smoke is up. So, a mistake. It is late in the night, so, of course, it's going to happen. But that is a massive pickup. Two rounds in a row, Sphinx makes the play. Vitaly on the full recovery. Four out of the last five rounds. It was seven to one. This one should go down nice and easy. A reward for their efforts. Resilience goes a long way. There's a P250 here. But now it's been taken out. Hunter's got another. But he's lost his brother. And a frag finds Hooksy down to 64 quick. Apex doesn't want to play that game. Dives out. Oh. <laughs> Whoa, that's There's one plant. Yeah, this is open sight, actually. That's a plant and a gun. That's, that's a, only a Thomas. Yeah, it is only a Thomas. Nothing to be scared of here, unless. Two kits, nice amounts of utility. There's no one on the big flank. There is no reason to believe that G2 hang on to this bomb site. No, it'd be so unlikely. I mean, it'd be close to impossible, put it that way. G2 are also pretty stacked. Nice utility. Excellent usage. Completely flushes them out of the market, which is where they wanted to try and hold from. And now you've just Wait got... up. <gasps> what? No. The double off of Modesty? There's no HP here. Zywu with the tech nine. He's got one, but up close. He's low. JKS. He's got a health advantage, time oh. advantage. Just ring around no. the Rosie. Oh. In what world do they win this? You're kidding. I'm speechless. That was going so well. Look at the way that they scramble back. The Thomas. The Thomas after the P250 tap. I mean, okay, JKS closes it out. Monacy's doing the most. And the Glock to end it. We're reaching levels of absurdity now that you don't often see. I'm sorry, guys, but what the F is that? Yeah. Ridiculous. That's what Zonic says in reaction. Yikes. That was, that's a pure modesty impact, though. And there's one shot that gets missed here, but if we compare this to Dust 2, he's barely missed anything at all. His pickups this game are unparalleled. No timeout off of that. Vitality, dude. You gotta process it. Hell, screw it. Get to the end of the half, perhaps. I don't know. You got a huge T-side ahead of you. You're fighting off with just three weapons, all they can afford. Minimal utilities.
Dupree doesn't realize, but he's got a player so close inside the ladder room. He's worried about it, but he didn't see it. He gets the kill to the bottom of mid instead. And then Hunter tries to round the corner. Good trade. Gets back into the ladder room. It's Sphinx's chance now. He peeks wide. Deagle damage, not enough. Magisk, he's gonna get hit from both ends, so he's gotta do something. And they've confirmed they're coming up connector. Magisk still just floating. Ooh. And he connects it into Hooksy. Three versus three off the back of that. Magic goes both ways. And JKS is next. Fired up from Zonic's disappointment. Apex versus Monacy over on the B site. That's the bomb. Tagged to 40. Low HP on the left members of G2. Oh. Apex has possession. Time is crucial. And there's no chance at a plant. Apex runs for the hills, sends him a nade, and gives Vitality six. Things so many moments. So many rounds. In that first half. Y'all sitting in bed in your underwear watching Counter-Strike. These, These guys, guys are, are fighting the for their lives. Yeah, edge of their seat CS. Gladiatorial moments so far across the first half of Mirage. And I mean, vitality. Some of those seem like it's impossible to rebound from, but at least they sprinkled a sixth into the half. Monacy, off bench, traded out by Zaiwu. And Nico takes the exact same position. Rinse and repeat. Plant goes down. Cross cancelled. JKS, Primed versus Magisk, they exchange glances. They know about each other. They want to fight versus one another. And there's no support to either side. Hooksy comes around. Magisk, he shuts down one end. Apex dives back into the firebox. Bomb nearing that halfway point. Apex, he's hanging on. Hunter's tucked. JKS trying to put the smoke down, but the kit's actually in front of him. The kit is right there on default. He can grab it and stick it, but a 10 second stick is impossible now. He's got to run back in and stick this the he entire could. distance. Spinks! No! No! Half a second! Oh. And he denies! Oh my god. A saving grace for Vitality. Oh, he's on it, clasps his hands. Yeah. That would have been too much, I think. For the old man. He would have had a heart attack. He would have just keeled over right there, After man. After what we've seen it all today. <laughs> He's just, guys, I'm out. <laughs> Leaves the building. I'm going to start playing again. <laughs> Make sure this doesn't happen. Oh, 0.3 seconds. Oh, leave it to space. Hey, that's going to create for the best nice. game possible. I think Hunter misses his crouch jump on the back of Firebox. Doesn't take out Apex, and the Apex gets another. He persists. That pistol's just to even out. No guarantees that they're going to be well in the lead in the second half. Oh, this deagle angle might actually work out well for JKS. We have already seen weird things with these kinds of buys. Monacy takes down a second. Yeah, there's a scout beneath Nico and the deagle. Ooh, Zaiwu survives it. Clean one. Hunter grabs the scout, misses the snap down. Zaiwu, his chance. And poor Hooksy. Despite showing, you know, stark improvements on map one and two, he's got 10 health in this 1v2. Flash goes up. Matt just makes sure to shut it down. Vitality convert the pistol. Yeah, yeah, there it is. Zaiwu, you know, coming in hot. The assassin, wasting no time or space. Instant to the head. The cleanup crew, the sanitation engineer. This one's a bit farther than arm's length, however. Couple of deagles are the best to offer. Oh, this is a, a critical scout and a really nice and simplified way of trimming the fat here for Vitality. They know now they can bring everybody out. This was the way that people played most Antico rounds at one point, where there were certain broken guns. The 5.7, the CZ, the Tech 9, all at different periods of time. They were just too hard to balance and it became a mainstay for every anti-eco to get a MAC-10, search out a site, because it was impossible. Even if you played it perfectly, you could still lose. That's how strong these guns were. And as that balanced out, it kind of fell out of favor a little bit. Now people don't always do that. They just group up. But here's when it works the best. You know, they avoid all animosity possible. There's no friction. I'll let Magus let off some steam. Yeah, and they want him to. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Okay. Give that away. <laughs> but Hooksy can't help but put his face in the window. He's just drawn to it. 
So he'll get one. So a little bit of money here for Magisk. His 15th kill. Top fragging for the Vitality camp as they try to keep it close. Tied game. Map three. Last match yes. of the groups. Last spot for fall finals until we get to the showdown. Yeah, I'm sure almost everybody in the building is delirious at this point, but that's what's making it even, first of all, it's creating the best moments ever. <laughs> and now that these two teams can see the finish line, you can really kind of let it out, right? You, you, you've got the banner in the distance in the last kilometer of your marathon. We can see the finish line. Yeah, it's time to start sprinting. Nowhere but forward. That's Nico's philosophy as he drops down into the underpass. Oh, wow. Mac 10 spam from Apex for 50 damage? That's solid. Yeah, broke his knees for sure. He goes like, damn it. Has to give up his spot. Leaves Monacy in the connector. Throws himself at the A site instead. Nothing too ambitious for Vitality just yet. We do have the double man walking underground. Apex and Sphinx looking to join Zywu and Dupree top mid. Can't believe, I can't help but feel like we're going to see some heroics out of Monacy in the second half based on how he's just been kind of trending up <laughs> as the maps have rolled on. Hell, add Nico to that list. Yeah, true. And honestly, that Glock clutch from JKS. Stars of G2 aligning. Yeah, on the other side. Look how tight that kill distribution is. You know, lowest was Spinks at 10. And he had a horrible time in that first half. He really recovered, brought some critical rounds to the Vitality organization. 25 seconds, though. Yeah. We've got JKS on default. Monacy's starting to rocket back through spawn. Yeah, they're I moving mean, like molasses here. They don't have a Molotov yet down on Firebox, so he's hanging on to his position. Monacy's going to check Magisk. Look at this. Three kills instantly. Hooksy from Catwalk. They just get completely grinded into the ground. Wow. Nothing for Vitality. Yeah, they got turned to dust right there. That was, uh, yeah, there was no, there was nothing coming towards a, you know, to deal with Palace. They just kind of lingered into mid, walked up slowly. And there were already some weird signs in that first half. Again, underplaying mid, as you pointed out. Didn't really feel like very, you know, on meta CS. Here on T side. Sometimes you can let teams beat themselves, especially if they're expecting a lot of, uh, a lot of fights early. They draw out some grenades. They don't see any pushes. They get confused. Got to make sure the calling is sharp and active. And everybody can be separated, but kind of on the same spider web, if you will. Looks he's showing a little skin towards the apartments. Could get targeted at some point in this last half. For now, it's Magis pressed into the connector. So again, they go through apartments, and then they walk on. Ooh, Magis, that's a clean one. Insta headshot, down goes Nico. Ooh, Modesty also rocked. But here comes the cat push. There was a lot of bodies ready. They don't get an early fight. Magis nailing another to the wall. Oh, Dupree then <laughs> takes the front end of this, and that's Vitality. From a fizzled out A hit that net them nothing, to a commandeering collection of kills in mid, one after another. That was, that was the Magisk experience right there, man. Those kills, Dupree's was fast as well. And everybody knew that it was their duty to come and find the refrag. But as soon as they showed up, they got deleted by somebody else. It's a Galil commercial. Hunter's got a smoke as well. Round 20, folks, don't forget about it. It's what's going to give Vitality a little edge. You'd assume. Actually may have heard that scope. Yeah, right. Hunter's close to it. We've got three players stacked in. They've all started coming over here. That headshot? That could have kicked off something wild. Uh -oh. oh my god, two kills. Was it the scope? They were ready. They were ready and waiting. And even after Monacy missed the first one. They still have control of the bomb right now. Nico confirms. Oh. Dupree's in mid. He's going to try to press through connector. Yeah, he's got an important timing here, right? He can cut him off from coming out of window to stop this A-cross. But what about just the ticket stack? He's going Rotates through the smoke. 
Oh, he oh recovers the God. kill, but it's still the ticket issue. Yes, that's true. Do Nico's still alive. CT's left guessing, and they're not convinced that it's going back to A, but it obviously is. Ooh, Vitality playing with their food. You can see that uncertainty in peeling Hunter and JKS back. Nico, he's going kill mode. Oh, and he stops the bomb. We've got the ramp player coming up now. That's Zaiwu and preoccupied Nico deleted. JKS slides in. Further damage versus Dupree. Hunter with an M4 is stuck behind Ticket. He holds as the bullets whiz by. Zaiwu's in the open, collecting the headshots, and now it's got to be the two inside of mid. Dupree focuses back, and Vitality survive a test so far. But JKS was the one that put the nail in the coffin in that last zany round, and he wanted it. But the smoke grenade turns him back. He fakes the window jump. Yeah, tries to create a little timing for himself. They smoke that direction. They That's leave the stairs, however. At least an opening. But they've both got guns. They've both got unknown positions to him. He comes over stairs. A freebie in Dupree. 20 kills for JKS. And Sai Wu's back sight. Not that he knows it. Just waiting with ice in his veins to get that back shot in. Vitality by the skin of their damn teeth. Jesus, man. I thought, man, the Dupree push through the smoke. That was outrageous. Still got the kill. So many spots that they needed to win in a row in order to make up for the, this deagle shot right here with the bomb dropped in the open. And Zaiwu puts in the first nail and this frag as well into Ticket. He encourages Hunter to swing. Honestly, he saves them. And Hunter, Hunter needed to not. The site player, the ticket man, yeah. and the 1v1. That is Zywoo through and through. Yeah, that's the Zyborg. Guns back from G2. For a second in the series, it looked like, you know, G2 were going to get a revenge. Best of three over Vitality. Make up for everything that happened the first time around when it mattered too. Two incredibly sketchy rounds. One of them they lost. This one they recover. Now the narrator of the story is unclear. What happens next? They leave a lot open as they make some decisions. But G2 respect them. The space is given. No player on ticket. They're open to holes in this spot. Well, Nico is, but there's no one there to attack him. Cat Split's coming on fast. Hooksy, good first kill. Sets up Hunter. Bomb gets stopped. Ooh, clean from Hunter. Extending, sliding out. Hooksy's hanging on to his corner, and Nico's just got this one locked in. Oh, geez, long range. They have that cone fire between him and Hunter, and they just combine for everything. M4 kills so clean. Yeah, they don't even come close. Wow, they got away with everything inside of middle without losing a single point of health. As soon as they turn that corner, look at these long angles used perfectly by these two. And this is one where you could have chemistry just being silent. You know, this kill coming in, Hunter knows exactly when to chime in and Hooksy tucks. They don't molly him as well. Molly gets thrown out early, lands on top of the halls. Hooksy started by the van. And with a little left in the bank. They put together another buy, but man, look at Zai. Zaiwu has all the utility here. G2 don't know it, but they don't really even have the option to go A. If somebody shreds Monacy on a peak, Hooksy's far. Monacy lands the first one, gives himself some space, falls back for the follow-up, and Hooksy catching two kills oh. off the catwalk. He is right in the mix with everybody else. And a frag goes deep to no avail. They falter and fall again. Yeah. It's G2 back in the lead. Oh. Five alive and a Hooksy 3K. Who is this guy? He's an equal, like you said. He's now not just the guy that you go, oh, very nice. You know, good that you did this. I'll see you again in three rounds. He's now just a part of every single engagement and looking as sharp as anybody else on the server. 
And that was so well orchestrated for Monacy, the protocols to drop that molly, fall back, any jump out of the window would be punished. Monacy has the far end of halls and Hooksy watches the first window. Four Glocks and a Deagle now. It's the only thing between G2 and their 13th round. Don't even have a flash. No. no, we've seen G2 convert a similar round, but they had something a little utility, a couple upgraded guns. This is a pseudo pause. Looks like this run boost may get interrupted. Oh, big pack of players. Good amount of damage from Nico. At least pieces together the picture. But they're uh, gone that, pretty quick. timing from Magisk was huge. If he, he peeked into CT, got that frag, then yeah, they could actually run it back and make this a little weird, but uh, the connector guys are still open, at least we can see from JKS. Again, just that kind of counter-strike where every inch, every opening, even in rounds, you've got absolutely nothing to work with. Vitality desperate for something, but they're not going to get it. No, sir. Yeah. Followed up by the utility. It's just Zywoo in the palace. We're burning down the clock every step of the way. Yeah. Sure enough, 13. That one, easy. Yeah, we might talk about JKS as kind of a, a passive player, if you want to call it that. But in my books, just a good good player, just playing well, playing not scared, playing good angles, taking the fights when he needs to. And I kind of, it's hard to get a read on him confidence-wise when he talks in interviews because he always kind of seems a little bit down. But you can see he's already getting a lot more comfortable. For sure. Finding his groove, slotting in. G2 sliding forward, three in a row. Guns back up from Vitality, but even with this buy, I mean, they're down to smokes and flashbangs. G2 have the ball in their court. G2 are the ones who should be confident. And as they fly out middle, Nico, he's still alive. JKS tries to take his place. Dupree guns him down. <gasps> and Apex, nice headshot onto the catwalk. He's just trying to get himself out of here. He's got no more support, having lost the two players top mid. And in the meanwhile, Vitality walk out A. Yeah. Nico knows this. He knows that something's going on. There's a rumbling of concern on this side of the map. And now Monacy confirms it. Nico incredibly low health, but if Magisk is caught sleeping, he is dead. Ooh. And that's exactly what happens. Nico with the headshot. It's Spinks and Apex to try and recover. Now, Spinks, he was bullied at the start of this. But throughout this event, he has been Mr. Consistent. And oh. now he gets sniped off the play. Apex, 66 health, three opponents. But they've got no clue where he got off. Yeah, to. last known at chair. No idea. Nico wants to go maybe in for the info. Off the flash, an instant headshot, just like Magisk. Nico guns him down. Yeah, and that's the clutch they need from Nico, right? Magic makes so much space crossing up on the stairs. And if Nico doesn't stamp it with his first bullet, he's going to die. You know, he will get turned on and killed. Look at that kill, man. And this shot as well. I, I mean, how is that not a wall bang? How does he not just miss? Less than 10 health and the headshots are instant. And Vitality are right back to the desperation. Oh. 15 seems inevitable now for G2. Apex will pick up the reins of the scout. Dupree's got the armored Deagle. Magisk as well with a kit. Of Kevlar, that is. They go for the mid control. It's been gifted to them. This now becomes brutal. I swear the worst part of being in these rounds is just being alone with your thoughts. Last time Vitality were at a showdown, RPK retired. Now they find themselves two rounds away. But again, every time we've got these pistols up, there's that very ominous silence. Apex's scout exchanges hands. Zywu will grab it. 
He's lost two teammates just on trying to exit the ramp. Again, they boil it down to 30 seconds, but to no avail, to no result, to no opening. Four alive, G2 on fire, wow. four map and match points. Yeah, and yeah, five straight, and they're in territory where, like, how big is this, even this celebration if they win? They have earned the respect of Vitality, everyone in the building. Getting the... Seems kind of flat, I'm not gonna lie, yeah. Vitality. It's individuals Just... that win rounds, but it's ideas that win games. Nobody oh. looking too pumped. What is the thought? Had a lot of slow burner rounds. Be no reason to expect anything different. G2 know what they're on the cusp of completing. Why run a risk when Vitality's executes, commitments? It's not been enough. You've held them back off bomb sites. We've seen a similar pattern in a round like this. They could be a jeopardy of just burning too much time off the clock, not giving the fights in mid. We've seen some success from them in that instance. Maybe smart for G2 to just forego this fight. Let Vitality think. Man, that's time again. Yeah, and they're going back towards Connector. Zaiwu so off cat right now. I mean, we saw a slow crawl from Connector to the A site get so completely denied. They're coming through. The flash is good. That makes a bit of a difference. Off shot down from Monacy. He slides right back into the ticket, and the Palace player doesn't catch him. Instantly, the rotates are over. Everybody's here to fight. Only two kills away. Zaiwu's trying to throw himself up. He's got a little X factor in him. Bombs in the ground, 20 seconds to spare. Monacy continuing to try and clatch these players, but Zaiwu in the sky, and Hunter confirmed the scope's in on him. Zaiwu's got oh. it. He is keeping them alive. Yeah, wow, he saves it. He absolutely saves the day. Small moment after small moment where it could just end. And they finally extinguish the flame for G2. They buy themselves another chance, and G2 go right into attack. But Zaiwu on the attack. If they really need to use them. And they might be cluing in now to some details. They barely pulled that one out. I mean... If not for Zaiwu. It has to be acknowledged. It's not like that can't happen again, but oh, okay. Early. This one helps. Hello, Sphinx. Two. That's Zaiwu versus Hooksy deep on B site. I hadn't seen him go for those op picks all too often. Yeah. And he gets it. Double man advantage. Watch Vitality. They're going to squeeze a minute off the clock. They're going to sit and wait and let G2 stew in it. Yeah, they mean they already did what they have to do. Now it's just waiting to see if G2 make another mistake. Make sure nothing gets pushed. No untraded kills. And then start to contract. Feeling back, we can see that this ends A. Got family here on the A site. With some utility as well. Nico playing close smokes and actually just waiting. Oh, why do I feel like he's about to... Okay, just one. Hunter loses him ahead. Tetris fights. Oh my god. We lose another as Monacy connects. 40 seconds, bombs heading to the B site. We got layers here from Vitality. Yeah, they've got out of there. They know, I mean, Monacy is the only other player. Everything confirmed now. Well sold. The cross is being locked down. So I was uh, already scoped. Monacy probably knows that this is going to be watched, but he still can't win that duel. Maybe Hunter can do something magnificent. And fires right in front of him. Dupree is out of the equation for now. Apex rounding the corners of Arch. Zai oh my god. It's, I was watching the window. He doesn't think anyone's crossed no yet. No one's holding this. Hunter's going to see this. He's going to start taking an inventory of all these duels. He has two. He's waiting for the apartments player. Dupree surrounds him. Oh, my oh. God. Just trying to get the entire picture before he pulls the trigger. Jesus. And the third piece in Dupree saves them all. Yeah. Body had the timing on window. Hunter was fast. Whoa. But now we're talking. Look at this push. Get shut down. Sphinx struggled in the first half, brought it back by the end. Damn, Hooksy just jumping. Relatively absent now, and... Here it is, two down, instant 3v5. Oh. Nice try. Nice try. What? 
Didn't expect Dupree to be ready. That's another buy they got to tear through. Dupree did come around that corner towards door looking for a kill. Would have been way too easy to fall asleep at the wheel at this point. I wonder if Vital would even know they're, they're full strength right now. I have to feel this one out. What a monumental comeback this would be if they could pull it off. Oh, that won't help. Crosshair is completely off the mark there for Apex. That's the captain down. Calling from the sidelines. Gonna have to step up a notch. Nico wants another. Oh, Lord. Uh oh, he's on for the 30 bomb. Potentially three kills away. I mean, this is going to take some kind of magical moment from Vitality. And every time they've been in a tough spot, it's been Saiwu to bail them out. He's looking to come in through Connector. And they're being proactive, not just sitting in their corners, looking to take a bit more. Step forward, peek in, and two more kills. That's it. That's it! G2!